This is the Carrera Cross City, which has a maximum range of 30 miles, but 48 kilometers. The battery is 313.2 watt hours, and the bike has three power levels. But how long does the battery last if I only use power level three? Let's find out. Today I'm cycling from the Clonay Road car park, just outside on Garvin, to Waterford and back again. The distance from Clonay Road to Waterford is 42 kilometers. The surface of the Waterford Greenway is great for cycling, and there are a few long inclines where it's great to have a battery. Normally I only use the highest gear. I turn on the battery and use power level 3 to give me a boost when needed, and turn it off when I don't need it. But today I will leave it on the highest level all the time. As you just saw here in the beginning, it's not possible to cycle flat out all the time, but once you get away from the major starting points, there will be less people. The battery that I'm using today is almost three years old and has only been used for weekend trips on greenways such as this one, no commuting at all, so it should still be in good health. Using the battery at power level 3 makes it very easy to overtake most cyclists. We've had kilometers to go and I still have all the lights 27 to go which means I've done about 15 and I still have four lights left which means I have 80% or more battery. Let's go. So I'm at the coach house in Kilmac Thomas. I have about 23 kilometers left, which means I've done about 19 in about an hour. And my battery level is definitely three lights at the moment. It's seven minutes past 12 and I get 13 and a half kilometers to go to Kilmeaton which is the next big point of interest. After that it's 10 and a half to Waterford City. I'm not far from the 23 kilometer mark and already I just saw two lights but thanks to region it went back to three but it looks like uh, I have about 50% of the battery left. I just passed the 18 kilometer mark and I still have three lights. That's amazing. Making great progress, but uh, I'm down to two lights now after it having been three for quite a while. I just saw just one light there, but when I braked I get back to three. It's a little bit hilly here outside Kilmeden. I still have two lights. 11 to go. Hello. So I made it to Kilmeden and the battery level is showing uh, between one, two and three lights so it, I'm sure I'll lose another light pretty soon. Nine kilometers to go. Six kilometers to go. And I still have two lights left. I just passed the five kilometer mark. I'm down to between one and two lights now, but I'm still getting full power. Dilbury Car Park, one and a half kilometers outside Waterford. And there is also a water refill station here. I still have one light going strong. I just started cycling again. Now I have 
I had one light, two, I had two lights, sorry. Now this one and it's flashing a bit. Freewheeling into Waterford. Still one light. So I'm just outside of Waterford and I think I'll call it a day and turn around and see how far we can get with the remainder of the battery. Only 42 kilometers to go. So the light has started flashing and there's also a headwind. This could be interesting, but at least I have another battery. So the last light is flashing. It's uphill and it's definitely not giving me full power anymore. But I'll see how long it lasts anyway before I feel I have to change batteries. That was two and a half kilometers and the last light is still flashing. I just passed four kilometers, still going okay, I can feel, I don't think I have quite full power, but the light is flashing. I'm at five and a half kilometers, and I think it's time to swap batteries. Quite a difference a new battery makes. Battery one, you've been great, thank you. I just passed the 15 kilometer mark and I briefly lost the fourth light. I just passed the 22 kilometer mark. I think I have three lights left at the moment. I'm just uh, cycling at the highest gear without any battery power at all. As we look down at Clonay Beach, only a few kilometers from where I started, allow me to summarize today's experience. The first battery lasted about 47 kilometers. After I left Kilmeden towards Waterford, I cycled several kilometers on the lowest power settings before I noticed my mistake and put it back to the highest level. The terrain was fairly flat anyway, so it's hard to tell how much this affected the result of my experiment. But I think we can safely say that the battery will last 45 kilometers, even on the highest power level, which is pretty good in my opinion. If you think you need more range, you could always buy a second battery, use power level 2, which also gives you a decent boost, or use the battery sparingly, like I did on my way back. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Have a great day and thanks for watching.